Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hi, Finland. Welcome to the <laughs> Natasha and Debbie show and World Wide Wednesday. Yeah, this is our very first Finland video. And to our Swedish friends, we're not ditching you. No. We're not done. And same with our Norwegian friends, even our Aussie friends. Like mm -hmm. we have been wanting to do, like we said, World Wide Wednesdays, where we check out a country for about a month, a couple of weeks, whatever it may be. And then we're going to come back to those countries from time to time here and there. So we're not done. But yes, today starts our education on Finland. And normally we do this mm -hmm. differently. So normally we do what? Normally we'll take a look at like the 10 best places to visit. Mm -hmm. Then we take a look at geography and some of the history, stuff like that. And then we go into specific places. But today we're doing it differently. Why is that, Debbie? Because we like to change things up. Now, because we're so close to Christmas, mm -hmm. everyone has said, take a look at Lapland. Exactly. And which is a little confusing because well, I don't really understand Lapland. It says it's northern Finland, but also mm -hmm. says occupies... Um, Russia, Sweden. Yeah. So Norway. So... We will take know. a closer look at that later. Well, we've heard about Lapland, but we've never actually seen it. So... We'll come back and do an overview video of looking at more of Finland, mm -hmm. um, like we have with our other countries we've looked at. But because it is so close to Christmas, we want to see what is the Christmas time like? What is the stuff going on? What is there to do around exactly. that area in the Lapland area? So what is today's episode called? Today's video is Seven Days in Finland, Lapland, that. Glass Igloo, sounds mm. interesting, Northern Lights, it gets more interesting. and Santa Claus. Okay, there you go. So, of course. What else can you want in one video? Not much. You add us and then. <laughs> but if you're from Finland, please say hi in the comments and please consider joining us on our Facebook page um, and check out our Patreon, which the links are, both of those are in the description of this video and all of our videos. And um, we're really excited to start our Finland uh, education mm -hmm. right now. What is this beautifulness? <gasps> oh. Hello. From December to March, almost everything about Finland defines a true winter experience. I would say so. Not only wow. are you routinely presented with stunning landscape. What is this amazingness? Oh, it says Lapland right there. Wow. What a winter wonderland. Is I that went to where live the in there. song was written from? It must be. I, I mean, Holy crap. I'd write that song if I was there. Sorry. All right. If, you, if you've watched Gorgeous. our channel long enough, you know what I'm about to say. On three. <laughs> One. Two, what? How did that happen? One, two. I have no idea. One, two, three. That's stupid, stupid pretty. pretty. The and lights hitting the snow on the trees, like that. Amazing. Like crap, that doesn't look real. Uh-uh. I want to live there. Mm, definitely I, I doesn't. I don't like the cold though. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see more. I'm sorry. I just cannot stop looking at that. It is so cool that only seem possible in movies. Agreed. But the powdered snow Whoa. and low-hanging sun frequently dance for your eyes. Add all of that to the forever potential presence of the Northern Lights, and you have yourself a special winter wonderland. Yeah! Wow. In this video, we'll share our week in Finland. Please. Getting up close Hi. with reindeer, breaking yeah. ice across Hi. the Baltic Sea, warming up in a cozy log cabin, yes, please. exploring medieval towns with a day trip to Estonia, oh, it's funny, and okay. yes, even meeting the Santa Claus in Lapland. This entire tour was literally brought to you by JEE -E Travels, who can book your own bespoke trip to Finland. If you're new here, then welcome. We make travel, travel movies from around the world, hoping you might just find your next holiday of inspiration. <laughs> This is Suitcase Monkey, spending again. a beautifully snowy time in Finland. Ooh. I'm loving this already. Excited. We do get snow like that here. Not we'll join our trip on the often. 26th of December as we touch down okay. early into Lapland. Covering a vast area, Lapland itself stretches across four different countries, 
Sí. For Finland, this is a sparsely populated region in the north, but makes up almost a third of the country. Oh, wow. Here is the, the best country. chance to see the northern lights and take part in a myriad of activities. I love snowmobiles. Our first two nights would be spent in Rovaniemi, wow. the heart and commercial capital of Lapland. That's beautiful. That heart is best on display at the official home of Old Saint Nick yeah. in the Santa Claus village. And if I'd have been here 30 years ago, I would have melted. I want to be on that sled so you can pull me. Me? Through the town. Yes. You're not a child. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay. Mentally, maybe. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. That is magical. I want to go there. I don't care if it's touristy. That's awesome. Well, that's wow. cool. If you've ever sent a letter to Lapland with the name Father Christmas at the top, I this haven't. is where it would have been read. I'm going to Each now. They year, do that? half wow. a million letters from over 200 countries are sorted right here. Really? And there's a palpable feeling that you've just stepped into your childhood. Seeing the real life letters from children all over the world warmed even my soul. But there is something very pure about seeing a bunch of adults write their own Christmas cards. And then you get the chance to either have it sent in the next few days or have it delivered for next Christmas, which for the UK's postal service is unfortunately the same thing. Although this wow. is admittedly a very commercialized attraction centered around Christmas, so? there is enough here that grounds it in its delivery. For example, this line here represents the oh, Arctic, Arctic Circle, Circle, marking the point where you've just technically crossed That's into cool. the Arctic itself. Being inside the Arctic awesome. Circle means that for one day a year in summer, the sun will never set, and for one day in winter, the sun will never rise. Even now, a week later, we were only seeing about two hours of sun a day, and this what? often caused a magical filter over everything you see. With that That's filter beautiful. in mind, we'd had a husky ride arranged for us, yes. whilst we waited nervously mm. for our meeting with Santa Claus. Huskies, I love this and I would do it. Heck yeah. Because they're the they're such cool dogs. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. That's beautiful too. Oh wow. They seem to love it though, so I can tell that they're okay. They're more than okay. Oh Look at the lights coming through. How fun. Now they're good. With our husky ride complete, it was time to meet the man himself. They love doing Even that stuff. Even though he failed at getting me Buzz Lightyear back in 96, yeah. I was now old and indeed wise enough to look beyond this. And I was getting excited. Oh, baby reindeer. Our 40 minute wait time was managed like a Disney queue as you snake your way towards his office. Before you enter, you'll see a bunch of celebs that went before you. Conan O'Brien, the Spice Girls, even YouTuber Casey Neistat. <coughs> Then, all of a sudden, our time was now. Is that a real beard? I'm really curious. Good question. I just don't feel like Santa there would be doing a fake beard. It's awfully perfect, though. I know. So is everything else about this video. I don't want to do that. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a very good to you. Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you. There are three things that I learned from this experience. One, that despite numerous photos being taken, I froze the same face for all three, so try not to do that. <laughs> I do that all the time. Two, this is actually a really lovely photo. And three, that elves still use 720p. <laughs> no, to round out the day, we return back to Rovaniemi to check nice. into our hotel and have dinner. Nice Although I've linked some of the individual activities and hotels in the description below, this entire trip from the transport, accommodation, excursions, and even some meals were all organized by JEE -E Travels. J -E. So if you'd like a full bespoke Winter oh, Wonderland cool. package arranged for you, then just message JEE -E Travels through the link below or on screen, and you'll receive a 10% discount Ooh. by using the coupon code SMFINLAND. For now, nice. though, JEE and... Travels had booked us into an early morning wake up as we'd be taking an icebreaker cruise across <laughs> the Baltic Came Sea. Ooh, cruise across the oh, Baltic Sea. I'm sorry, what now? I don't know about that. Oh. Polar Explorer. 
Oh, that looks frozen. That's the sea? It looks like the frozen ground. <laughs> Oh, that thing is like a beast. Wow. It's like pushing through all the ice and stuff. That's not something I don't think I would do. I'm not sure. That's freaking mm. cool. I also messed up. It's a little scary. A three hour drive had taken us across the Swedish border and onto the Polar Express. An 80 meter vessel built with a reinforced hull strong enough to cut its own channel into frozen water. That's crazy mm. cool. Once the ship had laid down its anchor, the ice was thick enough you can actually walk out onto the sea. What? That's a little crazy. Let's talk about this just for a <laughs> moment. Would you do that? You would. Um, yeah, you would. You would totally do it. I'd be on the ship. I don't know about going out and walking. You would do it. Mm, you're I more adventurous than I am. Okay. I'd be going, yeah, you're going to you're gonna fall in there. I bet that yeah. ice is thicker than half that ship. <laughs> it probably is, but I'd still be afraid of turning into an ice cube myself. Mm. So <laughs> I don't know about that part. Um, if you've done any of this, please let us know. And, um, was it worth it? It does look pretty cool. That's crazy. But I don't. You have to do that. You can't be there and not just go down. I would, I would actually do it. To say that I you know. have. I mean, I'd be holding on to that. What's down there by that, uh, staircase. <laughs> yeah. Little ramp. Just hang on to the. the, the yeah. So that way in case something ramp. breaks, I'm like, oh, I'm good. I would. That's as far as I'd go though. I'm like, yep, I touched it. <laughs> That's like, pretty wild, it's like though. Base, and I'm good. <laughs> this is crazy cool. I'm loving this. Wow. Although even this went slightly against my instincts, it right. wasn't actually the main oh. planned activity here. What? And that's because if you want, no. you can swim here. The what? thought of paddling in a sea that has allowed 20 centimeters of ice to form on top didn't exactly sound like a good idea. But once I saw a five-year-old going in, I kind of felt I had to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you do that? The garments provided no. are referred to as a double-layered survival wetsuit and gave me some confidence when putting it on. He <laughs> looks like a giant cartoon character. Feeling oh, like a Teletubby going through a midlife crisis, <laughs> I braced myself and styled it out. I don't think I can do that one. That's pushing then, my limits. Mm, yeah. No water even hit me in the face. <sighs> and much like Lieutenant Dan, it is. I had made my peace <laughs> with God. Comedian. That's terrifying <laughs> to me. I wouldn't do it. Ah, oh, this place is wow. so cool. Snowing right there. For the evening, we had our first of three nights where we'd be hunting for the sometimes shy Northern Lights. Our very first holiday together back in 2015 was to Iceland, mm. and even after five nights, we still never saw the lights. So mm. we hoped this time would be different. That'd be our luck. Whilst keeping an eye on the skies above, we were treated to this lavish barbecue with sausages, corn, and soup to keep us warm. Corn. To see the lights, you need Different. three things. Clear skies, mm -hmm. darkness, and solar activity, and which is what the lights are. The mm -hmm. interaction between solar wind and the Earth's <clears throat> magnetic field. Mm -hmm. The aurora season starts late August and finishes mid-April with September and March being the most active, especially around the equinox. Okay. The Northern Lights can be seen in Finland, Sweden, Norway, Northern Russia, Northern Canada, and Alaska. Whoa, whoa, whoa. and parts of the continental US. Mm -hmm. um, like, I think, it, I know Minnesota, you can in certain times yeah. of the year. I think parts of our Michigan, friends have. maybe. Yeah, um, so other, other parts of the US you can, mm -hmm. not very often. Or, no, it's not often. But not as clear, I'm sure. Yes. And no, know where we live, which is lame. And no, we haven't seen them in person. Yet. <laughs> Yet. But for this evening, at least, it was not to be. The good uh -huh. news is that the higher on the map you climb, the better your chances are. Okay. So tomorrow, That's we'd be gorgeous. driving three hours north staying in a glass igloo and keeping our fingers Ooh. firmly crossed. Oh, that's where you want but to do it. But little did we know that just simply arriving at our next resort would be a highlight on its own. Oh, do, do you tell? I was going to say do show. <laughs> <laughs> show and tell. Oh, that's pretty. 
Is she like sledding down the... Yeah. Probably. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yes. Oh, look at that cabin. Give me that cabin. You know if there's fireplaces? Like wood burning ones. Mm, yeah. Probably not though. I guess. Nature is just so beautiful. I love mm -hmm. the way the snow falls on the trees and just hangs there. It's it's gorgeous. We do get snow like that here, like I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. but um, not a lot. Not this much, but <laughs> no. this is absolutely stunning. Well, we do. Get, we have gotten that much. Yeah, yes, we have. but not that often. But when we do, it mh mm -hmm. pretty amazing. And I do love looking at it. It just makes everything look so much prettier, especially in the wintertime. It does. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh -huh. Hello, reindeer. You are adorable. You want to pet your nose? I want to kiss his nose or hers. Wow, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. This is all done so beautifully. That's pretty neat. After getting familiar with our surroundings, oh, it was time to check into our room, for want of a better word. The Caxlautenen resort we were staying in was actually the first <clears> in the world to come up with the idea of housing guests in a glass igloo. <laughs> the nice. outer shell itself is made from thermal glass, heated oh, cool. on the outside, insulated on the inside. So even though it was covered in snow when we arrived, it soon began to melt away, opening up the skies for viewing. Oh, I hope this has long been a personal bucket list entry for me, and yes. this unique experience didn't disappoint, even with cloudy skies. Awesome. Oh, One major word of warning, though: please only book this room if you are extremely comfortable with your other half. Nice to have a bit of privacy. Even without the lights <laughs> tonight, we'd already done so much on this trip. But what we didn't know is that our favorite two days were still to come in this video. This is a lot. So that we could sample different types of accommodation, our second night here would be staying in a log cabin. Oh, good. Whilst waiting awesome. for the room change, oh, we did what would become our most treasured activity. This incredibly peaceful reindeer ride was a joy, and oh. it seems we also made a new friend wow. along the way. Look at this dude. Uh -huh. He's like, hey. He's got a friend coming along. He's really cool. They're both cool. I want to do that. Feed them a carrot or something. <laughs> Whatever they eat. Hey, buddy. Even though we were stationary for this one hour in this minus degree temperature, mm -mm, it was weather. something we were both used to and prepared for by now. I couldn't. So, despite looking like an evil bandit who didn't know his ass from his elbow, <laughs> I was surprisingly comfortable. Really? There is a chance I may be making uh -oh. a follow-up tips video about visiting Finland, covering what to wear for such a cold climate, guides for using public transport, mm, renting a car, alternative itineraries, and costs. So please leave a like on this video and let me know in the... We'd like to be your friend to any of the Finnish people watching, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can drive us around. <laughs> not just for that reason, but that's a good one. And any tips you have... I'm not driving around over share. there. See all that snow? No, no, yeah, no. I don't think I'd drive on that either. Our city doesn't know how to drive in three inches of snow, <laughs> including myself. I'll drive in the United Kingdom, but not in Finland on the snow. Nope. I'll drive in, like in a fjord, not in a fjord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. Comments if you think this would be useful, and I'll link the video here if I end up making it. I want to watch that video. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this place. <clears throat> From our favorite activity then to our favorite room. There's Let's something see. very special just walking around this mixture of cold white snow and cozy log cabins. Maybe on some primeval Ooh, level, it wow. latches onto the instinct of Purpose. making a home in the wilderness, feeling safety and warmth inside. Mm. The room also had its own private sauna, which is an immensely popular Finnish pastime for obvious reason. This would be our final night in Lapland, so the last best chance we had of catching the northern lights. After a peaceful few hours in our cabin, there was a murmuring of some light activity happening outside in the resort. So we paused Golden Girls and raced into the cold. Not prepared, I hastily threw on a handful of clothing, not layering up, so was absolutely freezing whilst looking at the clouded sky. 
So after 25 minutes, we called it a night oh. and got back to Blanche. That stinks. There are actually alarms in every room here that alert guests when the lights are visible. So this time I went to sleep better That's prepared, great. ready for a spontaneous wake up, dreaming of that Iceland trip where we missed the lights years before. Oh, I hope they got to see mm. Now, the obvious way to climax this section of the video is they to didn't. then see the Northern Lights. Well, folks, sometimes life just doesn't go that way. He's right. Unless, of course, you don't count this. <laughs> yeah, we all excited for him. Mother Nature. <laughs> well done. Yeah, touche. <laughs> Now, if you can remember 12 minutes ago, I said, we'll join our trip on the 26th of December. And that's because our holiday actually started two days prior on Christmas Eve, as oh. we touched down into Helsinki. Oh. Finland's biggest and busiest airport is obviously here in its capital, so is the most popular entry point for most people. Helsinki sits on the southern side of Finland, and just below Reykjavik is the second most northern capital in the world. Unlike many countries though, Finland's most important day of Christmas is actually the 24th of December. Okay. So, as the locals were opening presents, wow. we explored the city on foot. That would be a good day. Yeah. There's a Hard Rock Cafe and a Pizza Hut. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. That's gorgeous. Whoa. Wow. Hello. What is that? I don't know. The library. It's an awesome, awesome library. Oh, that's wow! Beautiful city. Good lord. Deo. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the Freddy in me. Deo. And so we end with Christmas Day, which was about to become one of our most memorable. I bet. I mentioned earlier that two of our favorite days lay ahead in this video. Oh, uh, Estonia this was the second. Whoa. Just two hours from the West Hills. Hold, please, sir. I love this video. I don't care if it's touristy. I don't care. I mean, we would be tourists, so yeah. And we'll be doing touristy things. Absolutely, we now, will be. We typically like doing off the beaten path, non-touristy things, mm -hmm. but there are certain touristy things you just do. That, everything he just showed, almost, minus being in the water and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. And I want to do that. However, I cannot wait to see more of Finland outside of Lapland and stuff like that, and yes. I'm really excited right now. So, mm -hmm. just saying putting that out there for you. If you guys are liking this, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button because, come on, this is epically cool. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty fantastic. It's almost over though. Just two hours from the West Helsinki port lies one of the best preserved medieval towns in Europe and makes for the perfect uh -huh. Helsinki day trip. Tallinn is the capital of Estonia and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which, if you do Jeez. have the time, is definitely worth the trip. That's nuts. That's pretty cool. Tour guide? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Thank you to JEE Travels for sending us to all these magical places. And remember, if you do contact them for your own bespoke Winter Wonderland package, just quote the coupon code SMFINLAND for a 10% discount. Oh, Finland. Oh, Finland. That... I know we just saw like a tiniest bit of, uh -huh. of, of anything there, but... Tiny bit, but that did not disappoint. Mm -mm. Um, that'd be awesome to go spend Christmas. At Santa Claus Village. Yes, it would, Debbie. Uh huh. And the week prior or after doing all the other things. And wow, Estonia there was just yeah. amazing. And to go sled riding on the piles of snow in the middle of the street. Awesome. Great There's idea. Nothing about that video I didn't like. This really was just sitting next to me. It really wasn't <laughs> planned. It wasn't no. sitting there. I mean, I don't look good in hats. But either way, how bad is my hair, you think? Oh, oh, look at that. Pretty good. World's greatest hairstylist <laughs> next to me here. It's a lot of hairspray, guys. Um, no, seriously, that was stunning. Uh, if you are from Finland, if you live in Finland, mm -hmm. say hi, please. We want to get to know you. Please join us on our Facebook page. Oh, we really want to get to know you. Um, we have so much to check out, and I don't even know where to start. So leave us some suggestions in the comments if you don't mind. I enjoyed this. I really did. Again, smash that like button if you did too. Consider subscribing. I'm excited about Finland. This is great. 
It's amazing. I can't, I can't wait to learn more. I know. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Natasha and Debbie show. We will be back on Friday. Until then, guys, please, as always, love like jazz. And be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.